morning, Elizabeth Avenue students. I missed you so much this morning, so I thought I would do a read aloud of my favorite story. Nobody notices Minerva. Minerva woke up in a terrible mood. She had overslept and nobody noticed. When Minerva came down to breakfast, dad didn't notice. Open up for the oatmeal train, he told baby Keely. Minerva sat down on the floor with her brother, Francis and mom, but they didn't even notice. Try adding A plus two, mom said to Francis. Nobody ever notices me, grumbled Minerva. So Minerva pulled out the stuffing from the armrest in dad's favorite chair. She picked the leaves off mom's plant with her toes. She peeled up strips of wallpaper in the hallway and watched cartoons upside down. But nobody seemed to notice. At lunch, Minerva knocked over an entire glass of milk. She poked Francis with her fork and stuck out her tongue at Keely. After lunch, Minerva wrote the letter M on the door with a piece of chalk and kicked Francis's toy down the stairs. Then she built a fort out of couch cushions and crawled inside. Minerva pulled her knees up to her chin. She'd been rotten all day, but it didn't make her feel any better. She felt even worse, and no one noticed that either. Minerva began to cry. Look how sad she is. Dad heard her and sat down on the other end of the couch. Minerva, Dad said softly, I always notice you. You are my little firecracker. Life is more exciting with you around, but maybe it's better to be noticed for other things. Dad squeezed Minerva's paw through the wall of sofa cushions. Minerva squeezed back. She stopped crying and thought hard. After a while, she crawled out from under the sofa cushions and put them back. Good girl. She helped mom sort the laundry and paired up all the socks. You could do that too. She helped Francis set the table without being asked. And she read her favorite book to Keely. Dad tucked Minerva in. He said, hey there, my little potato. I guess we'll keep you after all. He winked at her. Minerva smiled. It was nice to be noticed. She decided that from now on, she would be good all the time. Starting tomorrow. I hope you have a great day today, boys and girls.